Hey everybody, it's Under My Cap, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to use the slash title command in Minecraft Java. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Now before we get started, I just want to mention that this command can both be executed in the command console as well in command blocks. We demonstrate it through command blocks just because it's a much easier way to um, explain stuff. Um, but you're more than welcome to do it in both and it works just as fine. First, we want to get a command block and to simply get a command block, all I do is type in command underscore block. To place this command block down and start with first bit of title, which is times. Now, the reason why I do times first is because times is one of the most important things and one of the reasons many people think that their title isn't working. Now, default, I'm pretty sure this is what is default on your world when you start up. The times for your title are set to zero, zero, and zero. Now, basically, you're probably wondering why are there three times and basically each one of those zeros represents fade in, stay, and fade out. So um, default for me, I always change it to 10, 10, and 10, just because that seems long enough for it to fade in, stay, or stay and fade out, um, but you can change it to whatever you want depending on what kind of command you want to do. So basically, once we set this up, so let's get a button, You'll notice that the command now displays test. If I did happen to change these all to zero, which was the default number, you notice that when I press this button, nothing appears. And that's what many people get when they start the world because they don't do it correctly. Now, the next bit we want to do is action bar. Now, action bar is very cool because it displays text, not in the middle of the screen, but it displays text towards the bottom here. So the reason why I'm getting out of this is just because it's easier to show, or I'll do it here. It displays it at this very bottom, just above your a GUI bar. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to do commas and type in test. Now, the reason why you use inverted commas is it's because the command line requires uh, requires you to type it in a special format um, so it understands when you have finished typing in your text. Um, now, this doesn't, this isn't required if you want to just do numbers, um, but if you do want to do a word, you have to put it in these marks. And as you'll notice, when I press you notice that the word test pops up in the area where the action bar is, which is really, really cool. And same goes for the next command, which is title. Now, as you probably know, title at a title. You see the title also does the same thing as well. Um, also, just make sure that your times are set correctly because I forgot to change them back to 10, 10, and 10. But you'll see that that is also the same. Now, Subtitle is basically the same as title, it will just display it beneath the title, but because we don't actually have a title, it doesn't display. So if I did copy this and I made this a title and press the button, you'll notice that they'll both pop up and then they'll continue to pop up because... Now also please note they were just popping up together because I had the command blocks together. Um, but just make sure that you do have them separated if you don't want to display them at the same time And if you want to also share the redstone, you can simply just place it together and they will both be executed Now the next one is clear and clear basically just clears everything now You're probably wondering what clears does now clear actually just removes the title So as you'll notice if I did display this and then use clear the title is kind of just it's just stopped, instantly stopped. So you'll notice that. And same goes with subtitles as well. If you did have a subtitle and you decided to click the clear, it will also turn it off. And same goes for reset. Reset just simply resets the um, the title. So as you'll see when I do that, it changes it back to test because I have it on test here. But if I had it like going and then click reset, it would clear it and then it wouldn't pop up with test. So um, basically to make that make sense, I reset it to nothing so it doesn't show anything. But yeah, so that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it made sense. Um, this is, I've tried to make this as quick as possible um, and I'm hoping to do a whole bunch more bedrock tutorials as well for most bedrock users. I just find Java commands a bit more easier to use and a lot more people using them. But if you do want me to do more bedrock, please comment in the description below. And also don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and also check out my socials in the description. 
Um, but I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.